I think that should work. All right, welcome to episode six of Pocket Air. Um, if you have not noticed, LaShawn wasn't on this one or, or mm -hmm. the last one or this one. Yeah, but we he kicked was, him out. He is a Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was running a little late, so we're just running it. But today we have Benny here. What up? Say what's up. What up? Bring him forward. <laughs> um, but yeah, Benny's been killing it and living in Long Beach. So uh, we just wanted to chop it up and want people to hear your story and uh, just your idea on it all. So I just want to... Ask, where does the story start? You were just talking about Wyoming. I definitely oh, didn't yeah. know it was in Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was born in Wyoming and like grew up there for most of my life. Okay. And then when I turned 18, moved to Colorado, and that was, that was pretty sick. What part of like, Wyoming? Uh, Cheyenne, so it was like the capital. Okay. I mean, I'm, I couldn't tell you one city in Wyoming, but I, <laughs> that sounds like... It doesn't exist. Talking about the capitals in eighth grade, like Cheyenne would be, sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but know, right the, on. The joke always is Wyoming doesn't exist. Hmm. Now it's like Ohio. Like, I feel like everybody's shitting on Ohio, but there was like a period of time everybody was just shitting on Wyoming. Huh. <laughs> I, got, I haven't been to either. I don't yeah, think. same. Or, you know what? Do you have to go through Wyoming? Like, is that on the left side of Illinois? Uh, <laughs> I failed really geography. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I went through it going to Chicago, but never mind. It's all right. I mean, maybe. So it's like Wyoming, Colorado, Utah. Or, and maybe, then I, maybe it's like, right, it's, yeah, I don't know. I definitely, because I went up to, to Chicago through Denver, so maybe I just like blasted through Wyoming. Or a little part of it. Like yeah. Seattle, you know. No, nah, I probably corner. did end to end. Well, but there's, it was like, like, <laughs> there's like two major interstates that go like through the, like up through Texas, like uh -huh. north, and then. I for I think it's like I twenty five or something mm -hmm. that goes like all the way across the country. Mm. So it's like it's a pretty big intersection. There's a lot of drug busts there. Mm. Like I feel like growing up, always Don't go there. About just some crazy <laughs> drug bust that just like happened on those intersections. Um, but what brought you to Colorado? Um, I just kind of wanted to move away from home. Honestly, like Wyoming just wasn't really for me. Mm -hmm. It's pretty conservative and pretty like old school. Mm -hmm. and obviously, like being closeted at that time I was like this is not really the place that I mm -hmm. want to be felt like I didn't really like have my people and like kind of just wanted to go and explore the world mm -hmm. and, like had nothing left to lose really and like had um I like tore my ACL when I was 17 healed from that and after that I just kind of was like good to go back on my bike and just wanted to go explore the world more sick so like did you move to Colorado because it's just closer to when yeah just, I'm yeah go so there. I Cheyenne is like two hours from Denver so growing up, like my dad always took me to Denver to like be a part of the Denver scene. And it was just, it was super safe. I ended up moving to Fort Collins, which was like 45 minutes. And so I was in Fort Collins for like a couple of years and then moved to Summit County to like snowboard for a little bit, yeah. like worked at a ski resort. And like, that was pretty sick. Just, that was kind of more when I like fell in love with snowboarding and then went back to Fort Collins in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I kind of like did a lot of like, that's Up cool. to Portland yeah. at some point, but yeah. Sick. How long were you in Utah for? I was in Utah for a year. Sick. And that was, that was a very productive year. Honestly. Yeah. I've never been up there. I always wanted to hit like Salt Lake, and like, is that where Park City is? Yeah. Yeah. Park City yeah. to go snowboard and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um. But hell yeah. Um. So, how, how? Because it's such a I I think of it as like such a California thing to be into like everything, and you're talking about you snowboarding and stuff like that. So did you snowboard? Were you just like a skate park kid? And how you got into everything or what? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. What What was your? Did you have like a local in Wyoming? Yeah, Bremer Park. And now, oh, you know what? I was when I was cruising the Gram the other day. I saw you post about it. Okay. Sick so, skate so that park was the one. Ever. Sick skate park ever. Sick. Like absolutely love that skate park. Oh yeah. But cool. And then, um, so you went to Denver, obviously, D Park became the new look. Yeah, I, I actually, I didn't ever move to oh, Denver. Really? I moved to Fort Collins, which oh, is like okay. 30 minutes from Denver okay. and everything. But I, I still drove to Denver pretty much like every weekend hmm. and rode. But you can just do everything up there, huh? I know like yeah. the seat, there is seasons, but like it's pretty mellow as well from what I've heard. But yeah, but you can do it all up there. Yeah, I, I'm almost like thinking about moving to Denver. Nice. Like, there's so it's many places. Sick. I want to go to New York. Yeah, I want to go to tight. Denver. Like, but yeah, it's. I think Corey Wallace is actually like. Yeah, he I heard about moving, that. He was. Yeah, there. last time I was talking, he or when last time I saw him, um, he was saying that he's trying to. Yeah, he's trying to go somewhere else as well. Um, but so, how long were you in Colorado for? 
fuck. <laughs> so you did like Colorado to Portland. You just moved around a bunch, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was it was pretty like unstructured. Uh huh. What made you want to yeah. move down here? I I moved from Salt Lake City to I was living in Salt Lake City for like a year, and then mm-hmm. I moved to Portland. And I was in Portland for like three months. Fucking hated it. Like. Okay. It was just rainy, cold, depressing. Like, I felt like I wasn't really doing anything but like staying in my room where I was living. Mm-hmm. And there was just one night where I was just like laying there. I'm fucking over this. It's <laughs> raining. I want to go ride. I want to just go be productive. And it was just unmotivating. And so that night I packed up my car and the next morning I just like drove to California. Oh, yeah. Like, just fun. T- no plan. Like absolutely no plan. Nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. Just... Drove down from Portland, down to California. I stayed with my friend in SF for a couple of days. Um, oh, my- <laughs> Mosh yeah, is just fucking <laughs> <shaking water. laughs> Sorry about that, you <laughs> continue. <laughs> um, but yeah, also when I when I was living in Portland, I tore my ACL again uh-huh. for the third time. Damn. The same one? Yeah, same knee. Damn. So I've torn my right ACL three times. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't really riding and pretty manic. <laughs> just it's like fuck it i'm just gonna i might as if i'm gonna be hurt i might as well go to california i've never i'd never have been to california before i moved here Sick. and uh, i just wanted to experience it wasn't even really able to ride like when i went to sf and like stopped at third and army and i pedaled on my bike and like tried hopping it was just the most uneasy feeling ever mm-hmm. like seriously felt like i couldn't do shit and uh, i was like i'm so gonna have to have another surgery and um, <laughs> but kept riding. I'm just kind of like started pushing through like the pain and like building up my knee so mm-hmm. I could like ride. Is that when you stopped by Preston's one time? Yeah, 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 damn, yeah, okay. yeah. That, yeah. So that was like right when I moved. That's to the Cal- first time we met. Yeah, yeah, damn. Um, but yeah, that was right when I moved to California. Not even like moving there. That was I was trying to figure it out. Ended up meeting up with Stefan and yeah. Therese like out of ditch one day. And it worked out where Drees was like, yo, um, I, I'm kind of in need of some extra cash. So if you yeah. want to, like, stay at my spot, like, I'm never there anyways. And <laughs> you could just, like, move into the living room floor. That's sick. Yeah. So I ended up moving into Drees' spot. And uh, that that's, like, what I ended up... That's where I still live now. Yeah, yeah. I just took over it, like, full time when he went to Texas. And now he's back? Yeah, now he, he came back, like, a week ago. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. That's now, we're, tight. now we're figuring out... He's, he's in the kitchen. <laughs> he has, like... <laughs> he's literally... It's sick, though. No, like, how he has it set up, it's fucking sick. Like, mm-hmm. it's just, like, the perfect little... Square. Little, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, it's true. It's, like... Yeah, he'll make it work. Yeah, yeah. he makes anything work. Exactly. Seriously, just, like, the most, like conscious person <laughs> that's right yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah i'm i'm pretty grateful that it, it worked out to moving out here that's it sick the, changed my life. the spontaneous like laying there pack my shit leave in the morning no plan down and out some sometimes that's just like what it takes yeah really yeah man it's it is it's wild when it uh when you went to new york i almost feel like benny's gonna move to new york i i'm pretty sure i'm about to move to new york yeah new york is so sick yeah, I um, uh, I just it's cracking. I feel like it's more your speed, or not more your speed, but it's like going. You know, <laughs> There's shit time to do. To do yeah. <laughs> your stories were lit. Your stories were lit every night. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. like I fell in love with New York, especially just like after Dawn of the Streets and shit and that trip. Like, just being around that many bikers and meeting a bunch of friends in New York. The fashion that's in New York. Yeah. Everybody's everything just is there. everything. Yeah. Everything is there. Like I fell in love with it the moment that I like put my tires down on that concrete and was like yeah. pedaling down the street like, yeah it's the best there like you're just like looking up like, <laughs> <laughs> like you just feel like the kid in home alone like when he's in the taxi like <laughs> whoa yeah that's just sick this Good feeling. Sick. damn um so i want to switch it to i want to ask about how it went down and like where you were when you came out um it kind of kind of wasn't even really like a a coming out coming out like I, I came out as like bisexual when I was eighteen ish mm. or so when I was living in Colorado. Mm. And it was just kinda like one of those things like, oh yeah, like Benny's by. Like I, I never really made it a point to make it a big deal. Like mm-hmm. I was like, first off, I'm just like a skater and a biker, mm-hmm. like As it should like, be. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> Yeah. This big like, idea of it, like, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I, but yeah. I feel like I I just I never really made it a point to make it like something. Mm-hmm. And when I was U- in Utah, there was like a coming out day 
or like coming out day and i just made like an instagram post for it mm-hmm. and just kind of posted it like i i kind of like fully typed out a bunch of stuff it's on my instagram if you scroll down deep enough um and how did yeah. all the homies in utah take that <laughs> and where'd you live in utah again salt lake oh, okay i so lived i, I like... lived in salt lake salt lake like in sugar okay. house okay um it, it was a little interesting like i felt like accepted and not accepted at the same time mm-hmm. like it almost like in the way of like nobody was like giving me shit for it but it was almost you could kind of tell by body language or like mm-hmm. people just acting weird yeah like i i mean i'm not dumb like I yeah could, i could always tell like when somebody is like feeling some some type of way about some shit like like if i just meet somebody and they're just kind of like looking me up and down like you're wearing a you're wearing a crop top. Like, mm-hmm. You have an eyeliner on, or like if you're out, and, like you're wearing a dress, and like people just like fucking give you like weird ass looks. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck, but it's like I I get still. Yeah, that, that that's like the that. sign of like all right. Yeah, stay away from you or whatever. Yeah, and uh, so I when I was in Utah, I went to Portland on a snowboard trip for there was like a event called like It's Tits, which is mm-hmm. sporting for breast cancer, and. Love the PNW and skating Burnside and shit. And just, like, there was, like, such a sick queer community and, like... That's sick. So I, I wanted to try it out there. And, it, it, and it's almost, like, goes to show, like, when you, like, go and visit places, sometimes it's better when you visit them than when you, like, actually live there and you're, yeah. like, submerged in it. Um, that wasn't the case for me with Long Beach. Like, Long Beach, I still love Long Beach. <laughs> that was going to be my next question, how yeah. it's been, you know, treating you so far. Yeah, I love it. It's, like... I like being able to go to LA and like have the mix of LA and that lifestyle, but being like far enough away where I could kind of like step out of it and not mm-hmm. really be in it. And also the area that we live in like Belmont Shore is like the neighborhood. <laughs> like we have fucking rainbow crosswalks and <laughs> yep. 20 gay bars within like yep. five mile radius. So. That's like towards second street. Yeah. 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 So I, I'd love Long Beach. Honestly. Oh, yeah. That's Something sick. more prevalent out here and accepting, I feel like. Our landlords are gay. Two gay dudes are sick. They ride bikes and shit. Yeah, like, all all our neighbors are mm-hmm. gay. Like, I, I have, like, a lesbian couple on one side, like, a gay couple, like, right next to me. Yeah. Nobody lives under us right now. Oh, I could go on a whole whole rant about Barbara, my, oh, yeah. <laughs> our downstairs neighbor we used to have. She complained about our noise one time when, or when Therese and I were in New York. Mm-hmm. Like, uh-huh. we weren't even home. <laughs> we weren't even home, dude. Yeah, that's a good one. But she's gone, thankfully. Yeah. So Where'd she would... go? Huh? Where'd she go? I don't fucking know. She's <laughs> failed. Yeah. Yeah. She's kind of old, so. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but we, we got that noise complaint replaced with the noise of them remodeling the apartment. So uh-huh. now we just hear, like, <laughs> like, under us all the time. 7, 8 a.m.? Yeah. Actually. And I'm a night owl, so, like, sleeping, like, my sleep schedule can vary from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. <laughs> or, like, like, sometimes I'll get up early, but that's, like, it's pretty rare. Mm-hmm. Normally, I'm, like, asleep during those hours, mm-hmm. for sure. That's funny. So, I'm going to feel super Gen Z about this, but I just want to ask <laughs> things that I know a lot of other people want to ask, but what are the pronouns that you claim? Um, or, like, what are your pronouns? I I still kind of ask myself this too. Yeah. But I would I'd probably say like they them or but some people call me and like she don't really mind that. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of depends on the day really. Like I'd consider myself more like gender fluid. So it's like sometimes I'll go mat, sometimes I'll go like all the way femme, sometimes I'll be like right in the middle. Um, yeah, that's something I'm not really too picky about unless i'm like in a sassy ass mood and, and i just wanted to ask too off. because it's such like a a line you know it's yeah like, are you this or this or this and it's like it doesn't really matter i just kind of claim first place fuck or, boxes or claim, yeah there you go like i like that as well fuck boxes like be whoever the hell you want to be and mm-hmm. like the other thing too is because like a lot of people will think that i'm like transgender and i kind of don't i don't like turn that down either it's like mm-hmm. whatever like you see me as is like whatever and I, a lot, I've also, like, on the question about pronouns and, like, people asking, or not pronouns, hormones, if, mm-hmm. like, I was on hormones, no, I don't take hormones either. And kind of where I stand with that is you don't owe that, you don't owe, like, your androgyny to explain yourself for, like, somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like, you could just be yourself and identify, like, however you want to. Like, mm-hmm. 
you don't need to put yourself in these boxes of like, oh, I need to do this, wear this, wear this, do this, mm-hmm. like be who you want to be. Like, yeah, because once you put you yourself in yourself. that, you gotta like do that. Or, like, yeah, do that, exactly. Like, that's what you're on. So I, I can understand that. And sometimes like, boxes helps people uh-huh. too. Yeah, I can see that. Um, circling back to you talking about um, transitions, I always wanted to, I always wanted to ask like, if. Cause I, I like riding transition and I always say tranny. Yeah. Do people like get bummed on that? Like, and obviously Some people it's, do. I mean, obviously it would, if it was like towards someone derogatorily, obviously yeah. that's bad, but like, I just say it cause it's shorter and like, you know. Yeah. No, I, I, I stand from like both sides. Like I see yeah. it from both sides. Like I can totally see somebody like getting offended about that mm-hmm. and I could, where I kind of stand, where I stand with it, like. Kind of it kind of, yeah it's, it's kind of whatever <laughs> you know what they like, mean yeah yeah like, yeah like i know what they mean and i say that too like i think of it it's like like uh, on a skateboard like a sex change uh-huh. it's like when you like switch stance mm-hmm. i kind of oh, yeah, think I for, that's i forget about that i kind of yeah. think that's like sick like uh-huh. one of like one of my favorite tricks on a skateboard is like sex change hurricane mm-hmm. and it's like sex change on tranny <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh yeah. So, I see what you mean. And it's kind of like a joke within like the gender queer skate community of like doing like a sex change on Tranny. Yeah. It's like, oh, I've heard we've had it. I think we've had this conversation yeah. with someone before. Like maybe I've had a post hanging later. down because I had that at the caption. I was like, please no, please <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> like, just like Instagram shut it down real quick. Damn. Yeah, Instagram's been getting you. It sucks. We're getting Bro. everybody. Even just like can't say peg chink. out of my ear. Or, like, yeah, yeah, we gotta love it. We got the, um, you got the, the airplane joints. Yeah, that's what we do. The what? <laughs> those right there. The cup. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I <laughs> want <laughs> those. <laughs> <laughs> those ones. Oh, I need to get some fucking skull candies up Dude, in here. Dude, these are so Y2K. Oh, with a beanie? Yeah. <laughs> in the beanie. In the beanie? Damn, what was like this? What was this? Oh, man. All the steezes through snowboarding. Remember having like the oh, school yeah. candies that looked like that, and everybody had the same. I used ones to have. For a while. I used to have a pair of green ones. Yeah, it was like the white, and they had like the green like ears. Let's see, other shit. Right, let's see which one you're plugged into. I think I'm. Or, yeah, I'm you can over see here. it. Yeah, just unplug it. I got it. I got it. Fuck, we can't find the hole. <laughs> Light it up. Make sure you. Get, yeah, yeah. Make sure you get in the right hole. <laughs> All right. Back to it. Wait. Is it there? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, so. I, that's t- you can probably make them bigger, too. I don't know if I've actually... I know I got a big <laughs> ass head. Plug those into this thing. Just straight off the airplane with those. <laughs> um, so how has the indus- BMX industry reacted to you being in it? As of recently as well, too. Because I feel like I didn't really know about you until a year or so ago or something. Honestly, like, it's, it really, it really hasn't, like, affected me too mm-hmm. much different, like, coming in the industry. I think the one thing that kind of helped me, too, is I came into the industry like this. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it wasn't, like, Corey, where he was already, like, an established pro. And then mm-hmm. he came out of the closet, where it was, like, more of, like, a talked about thing. Mm-hmm. I kind of just, like, walked in, like... Already, yeah, I'm, already here. Yeah, like I'm already here. Like you mm-hmm. either accept me or you don't, and that was kind of the test of things. And when I first moved to California, I showed up to like a game bike, or the USL the, like, one. Yeah, 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 like the the mm-hmm. cage match, and uh, I I kind of just like sat in the corner, and, like talked to like Corey and like Robbie and like I I'm pretty sure like you're like sitting over there too. Yeah, yeah. And like oh, a I remember bit. that. Yeah, yeah I like, think I met you that and, day too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And so that that was kind of like the small little introdu- introduction mm-hmm. and then i think like on some shit had they had like the jam the, in, in the, the ditch. ditch yeah and so those those were kind of like my first like two introductions of that the was, bmx scene yeah in like, California. yeah like the california bmx scene and that i was like i'm just like a bmx rider yeah, <laughs> really. yeah. like there's there's really nothing more to it other than i'd love riding my bike and that's like all that should matter mm-hmm. and i I, I just it's the same thing yeah like, there's really no no difference and um have you gotten any like not that like flack is the right word or like bad things but like how are the other industries considering you know it seems like you're pretty in with the snowboarding industry and like maybe a little bit with skating as far as i know yeah. but like how has it been like, i've seen overall? it also in a scooter video oh and yeah. scootering yeah, yeah sorry the uh, real the real reggie of auto rock <laughs> yeah literally, right here. literally 
It's a profile picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shout out to Rock Power. Yeah, for real, Rock Power is <laughs> um, No, I, I, I think it's it's just 2023. We're getting pretty pretty accepting mm -hmm. with things. So it's like, just do what you love to do. BMX is definitely the industry that I feel the most accepted in. Mm -hmm. and, and skating. Like, skating, I think, is so much more yeah they have it down because mm -hmm. they they have like their skateboards and unity skateboards mm -hmm. yeah like they have skate companies that are queer skateboarding like mm -hmm. like those and they have such a bigger number as well that yeah, like, yeah. Meant, not meant but like there's just bound to be more you know people. for sure and uh i i definitely kind of feel more like a unicorn in bmx first like mm -hmm. skating so i have i have a whole bunch of queer snowboard friends mm -hmm. queer skate friends um not really I don't really know any like queer skate riders and like BMX, like Corey and I, it's really just mm -hmm. kind of like Corey Paris. Um, there, there's, there's a few to name. Yeah. There's other homies. Yeah. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. Um, and then speaking of like, you know, industry reactions and stuff. And I know we kind of talked about this the other night, but like, how do you feel about like also being like not pushed is the right word, but like treated differently in like a, explosive but like being glorified as like you know queer or whatever you know like fuck that yeah like, like fuck what, that <laughs> like well i just know it's like yeah with, with brands it's like oh okay you know like you're so, queer let's market the shit out so of you so that was i rejected the company because okay. they wanted to turn me pro like by company yeah bmx yeah. company it's, yeah you don't yeah 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 it's all good um but yeah i i i kind of rejected rejected that one because it's just not you were about it's, it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not It's not rewarding in the way it should be. Like I, I feel like you have to earn that yeah, spot yeah. and go down that process. And I never I never asked for that to be given to yeah. me just because I identify as something. If anything, I'm saying, like, push that part aside. Like, that. that's something that really shouldn't matter. Like, focus on, like, my writing. Yeah. And I feel like there were a lot of people that were, like, kind of seeing that I wasn't really posting, like, all these crazy bangers on Instagram. They're like, oh, this kid can't really ride. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I when I messaged Ryan Scher about like getting on Sabrosa, like we actually talked like a year prior because I like posted something on Instagram. It was like a gap to wall ride. And so then he like followed me and like we started talking. Like he hooked me up before like I really like kind of like oh, came out came out. And um, but yeah, so that all that kind of like negative connotation towards saying that I'll be like glorified or that I'm like glorified for like mm -hmm. being queer. I'm just kind of like. Mm -hmm. No, I, you I go can, fucking big for you to talk yeah, about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like... Okay, how old are you? 22. Okay, yeah, because yeah, you're five years younger than, you know, me and him. And, and, yeah. and kids coming up kind of keep it... I'm not Mellow's not the word, but you fucking go big, you know? No. Like, and a lot of people don't in the well, younger age group. The other thing that I, like, kind of taking into consideration, there was that period of time where, like, I still don't have an ACL in my mm -hmm. knee. So I was, like, pretty scared to ride. Like, I, I didn't really want to do anything like everything i was like posting for the longest time when i first like blew up because i filmed non bike when i was in salt lake city in portland mm -hmm. and then like dropped it and even like during that time like i was like still kind of like warming up to getting to non bike nary is a sick yeah that was yeah, <laughs> that. yeah. Just, wait, i definitely haven't seen it or like heard of that so that's sick i'll have to watch it <laughs> yeah uh yeah i i got another project that hopefully yeah it's been sitting on my laptop for like five six months so okay sick so Who's something coming that? out in the uh grant oh sick grant film that oh yeah but i haven't haven't really done anything with yeah it. it's just fine. kind of been sitting Go there get to it. been like snowboarding and just trying to do other shit um but. speaking of going big what were some of your influences and they could be like you know they could you could talk about like a couple bike ones but if there's like anything else like you know if it's like scooters or skating or snowboards or whatever that like you think influenced you a lot like you think they would be um, I guess that, you can start for, with riders. Yeah, if that's yeah, like, for, yeah. For BMX, I'd definitely say like like Nathan Williams. Sick. Like he was definitely like one of my favorite bikers growing up. Just always he liked riding big shit mm -hmm. and like still tech. Rode a lot of a lot of like switch set setups. Mm -hmm. And he he was definitely like one of my favorites. Dak, another another good one for a BMX rider. And then skaters. I I was kind of like. Love the Welcome Crew. Sick. Which is like, it's pretty sick. That. You getting boys on them now? Uh, I I'd yeah. say like homie hookup. <laughs> I'd say homie hookup. You've been like, skating with Daniel Vargas. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm tight. skating with them and like became homies with like Jake and like a couple of other Welcome oh, yeah. dudes. 
What are the, yeah, they're one of the homies who lives next door. He yeah. does the graphics for them. He just moved down here from SF. I forget his name. Jeremy? No. I don't know. But yeah. I had that, that S&M deck forever. That was like a welcome shape, and I loved it. Dude, I, just, so I just got funny. another one, or another like similar shape. But yeah, shout out to them. They're fucking yeah, sick. Sh- shout out welcome. The dudes. Dude. Shout, dude oh yeah, came, I didn't even notice. We dude, got came fucking <laughs> boards sitting right here. <laughs> dude, they make fingerboards now too. They do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seth has one. I now mean, one. fuck, it's quite the industry. Like <laughs> It is, dude. If, yeah, you're already making boards. I mean, I know it's like something <laughs> else, but it's so easy to like do it there too. It's I, like don't a I, I think they I like collabed yeah. with like a fingerboard. Yeah, they did. That would be the way to do it, yeah. and they don't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they just, just put, put their name yeah, on it. Yeah, they just put the name on it. Um, so what do we got here? Um, so where could where could people like in general like friends, not friends, like where do you think people could do better in being like mindful of like you know the queer any kind of. LGBTQ community, like, you know, how could anyone be more mindful about that? I just, I think like a big part of it is just like being considerate of the person, and it it never really like hurts to ask of like, hey, like, what are your pronouns or mm-hmm. anything like. That. I I try not to assume like what somebody's identity is, or I eliminate like certain ma'am, like don't call people certain ma'am. And I know that's like the respectful mm-hmm. thing, but that like you just you never know how somebody is Mm -hmm. feeling or like what their identity is i try to just talk to everybody and like they like with they pronouns Mm -hmm. like it's like when you go to the doctor and you get home and they're like oh like what the doctor said oh like they said this Mm -hmm. like you you don't really need to use like gendered pronouns for like everybody and what do you call someone by their name too which is a crazy concept yeah, that, that's what my mom did for the yeah. longest time was yeah. she just, like, called me Benny. Mm-hmm. And when she was talking about me, like, called me Benny. Like, not everything, like, has to be gendered. Is your real name Benny? No. Yeah, it's <laughs> Benjamin, huh? It yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mine is Eduardo, it's not Eddie, so. Yeah. I, I, mean, I don't know I don't, if I knew that. I don't hate my name, but huh? No, that's cool. I don't hate my name, but I just, I think since, like, middle school, I've always, like, gone by Benny. And just yeah same i feel hey. like it's more fitting for me just like as a person mm-hmm. like full name benjamin i just i can't do it i can't do it You're trying to rebrand have you thought about other names or what <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i feel like i feel like damn benny kind of stuck yeah it, it's yeah it is i've thought about changing it and like everybody i've asked like, <laughs> no you can't change it like kind of stuck with that one oh um circling back to like new york and like that how was um how was like your dawn of the streets experience because fucking, you fucking killed it and that was this was, i think it was not the one year i didn't go but i didn't go this year and yeah no. you killed it thank you yeah yeah that that time oh i'm just like reliving like all that right now but mm-hmm. yeah that was the most surreal amazing experience um just even like that was my first bmx trip with mm-hmm. sabrosa and shadow nice and killed it in the video too thank That's you true. thank you um but yeah like shout out ryan for getting me out there like that was super sick and just even experiencing like the whole time dy- dynamics of like a bmx trip just pedaling around like with the crew and like feeling like i was like kind of fully like a part of something so like, was that your first like bike trip yeah mm-hmm. yeah that was like my first like bmx trip sick. Ever. oh yeah hell yeah like it was in just, New York too. That's the best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. New York <laughs> flew out. Dream oh, yeah. City, Dream Crew, like yeah. Dries, Pajarki, Lewis, Ryan, like all those dudes are just the sickest. And mm-hmm. it, oh, yeah. it was the best time ever, and it, it was like so motivating, like ride because, like Lewis was like filming the video, and so it was like I could do anything that I want to do, like anywhere. Like it's it's not like you have to. You have ten days designated to like film. It's not like you have to like call a filmer, like yeah. come meet me at the spot, or like being in LA where you drive like from spot to spot to spot. Like everywhere in New York, oh, is, like, right. so, yeah, like you could pedal around yeah. everywhere. And so we were so productive in New York. Yeah, it's way more productive when you're when you're not driving. Like, yeah, and sure. um, yeah, that was that was surreal. That trip it was like super sick. And then down the streets, honestly, I didn't even know if I was like gonna ride down the streets. Because I was like so I mean, it's kind of a surprise as well too. You kinda of don't know what you're riding, like how you're gonna be feeling. Like, yeah, you know. I was fucking beat up mm-hmm. after that trip. Like mm-hmm. I was beat to shit. Oh, was the trip like prior to yeah, the, oh okay. Yeah, we had a ten day like riding trip and riding every day, nonstop, and just a little bit of partying in there. 
Yeah. And I was just, I was like beat to shit, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I might as well like ride this event. Uh, we missed like the warm up spot, like the first spot, and like showed up. Half to the, the people do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was you, fine. You started riding but, like the last few spots. Last you rode the row hop? Or like. Oh, yeah. The, oh, I'm tripping. Yeah. You rode the the rail to ledge. Yeah. The rail hop. Well, Wait. so the rail to ledge was like. Like right when I got there, that kid. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember in. that. You just <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> was like, this kid started like seizing on the ground. I'm like, oh, fuck. you did your thing in the rail hop. I thought the rail hop was like the sickest thing, and then obviously the last spot. Dang. Funny. You did all that shit, which was crazy. Funny thing about that rail hop. That was the first rail hop I've ever ridden. Okay, that's life. a big rail hop. <laughs> I've <laughs> never no ridden. A, I've never ridden a rail hop, and uh, yeah, I was like talking to Brock, like just like walking up there. I was like. What never, do I do? I've never heard a real hop. Like, <laughs> like, what do I do? It was like me, Brett, Julian, Brock. Yeah. Like, Top like dogs. all these heavy ass hitters, and then yeah. me. It was only. And a I'm team. like, God, like I don't, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I know I got it, yeah. and I know I, like I, I know I got the hop for it, and so we like, all just kind of like lined up, like set up for what it. What did you end up doing? Some, you did a, you did one eighty, right? I had one t bogged it. Oh yeah, one eighty t bogged. That was yeah. sick. Yeah. Which I was I was pretty hyped on that. That that like whole thing was just kind of like yeah. a blur. Like I felt like I just kinda of like got sucked into the like try not to be anxious. Yeah. That many people <laughs> not sick. You need trying. to get in there sometimes so like pre you know, future yeah. jams, you're like, Alright, I can mm-hmm. do this. When is that like in the middle of summer or something? Or like it was end of summer, end like, of summer. That was oct- it was August. Yeah, it was in yeah. August. Are they yeah. gonna do another one? Have you talked to Austin or? If I, I, don't, I don't. I don't. know. Because I kind of heard. T- yeah. Like. I want to say. Talking yeah, no, I have like, heard that it might not happen. Yeah, but, but I've also. I mean, people have also, more people have been getting involved to where you know someone else could just take, take it over, over it, and yeah, like, sure. keep going type true. thing. Yeah. Uh, you gonna go Swamp Fest? I think so. I I kind of have like a couple other trips mm-hmm. like, planned out. Just like. It, it depends, but that that's the plan. Like sure. trips that, that will end up with Swamp Fist or just tw- like trips in, be- in between? Like it's all like overlapping oh, okay, and right. everything. It's kind of like hard to, it's really hard to plan. Bike and trips stuff. or just on your or own? Or even like for, for like modeling. Like okay, I, I just signed like to an agency in New York. Tight. And it's pretty like spontaneous from what I gather of like, hey, you're like option for this shoot. And then they'll just call you like the next day. Like, hey, can you fly to New York like today? Sick. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's almost pretty, almost couldn't pretty get wild. here. Couldn't yeah, I could get. Could get <laughs> yeah, but today. I got I got I got dropped. Oh, is that what you were up released. to? Okay. Yeah. Um, Sick. But hell yeah. Yeah. Wait, so did what you? It, oh, I'm sorry. You did, did you get that uh, model stuff happening when you went to New York for the first time? Like, yeah. did you meet someone and they're like, "Yo, you wanna?" Yeah. So, um, the first night that I got to New York, because uh, you know, like the shirts like peels. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, he runs, like, City Jerome. Bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah City yeah, Bike yeah. Boys. Tight. Um, but, yeah, so I, I was, like, talking to Jerome on Instagram about, like, getting, like, pill shirts. And he was, like, oh, like, I'm in New York. Like, just stop by at some point. Yeah. And it was, like, on the way to the Airbnb where we were staying. And so I just, like, stopped by his uh, office at yeah. Peels. And he, like, made me some shirts. And we were Tight. just, like, talking. And then we just, like, kept talking. Went out and, like, City Biked one day. And he's like, yo, like, I just signed to, like, New York Models. Like, it, it'd be sick. Like, have you, like, thought about doing that at all? Like, I get, could get you an appointment. And uh, near, like, the end of the trip, when I was, like, leaving to go home from New York, I, like, got an appointment. They gave me a contract, like, on that spot. And so I stayed in New York, like, a little bit longer and had, like, my lawyer look at the contract. Flew back to L.A. for, like, five days. And they are like, hey, can you come back to New York? <laughs> so That's I was, sick. Like, home. Hell yeah. And flew back to New York, signed the contract, and now we've just kind of like been building up the portfolio and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty fun. It's wild. Like I, it's something that I've always like thought about doing, but didn't really like know yeah. how to do it. I've always loved fashion, didn't really ever think I had it maybe. like yeah. that or like to do it. Yeah. I still kind of am like, fuck, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I feel like, you have like to do, yeah, I feel like you get into it for sure. Yeah, it's. It's a trip for sure. That's sick. I feel like you could. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go on this. I don't know. I'm gonna go do this modeling thing, but I'm gonna take my bike and then just. Yeah, yeah, know, exactly. Kind of like a cheat code to like travel as well. For sure. Yeah, that's for tight. sure. 
like there was like one shoot that they just like offered me um and it was a shoot in south africa oh damn that's <laughs> so they had me get like my passport expedited and so that's happening you're going to no oh, i'm okay. not going oh, okay, <laughs> that, okay. that shoot i would i would have had to like fly out today yeah oh, that's damn. like goes to show like how spontaneous like that industry yeah. is like you would have they'll like call you like hey you have to fly out tomorrow <laughs> That's and shit go. seems so stressful. Yeah, I've seen it, so many model homies like down of bad. Is, like, dude. Just because like you're so alright, so you go to South Africa and you get fucking fifty racks to do this thing. Yeah. And then you don't get a job for a year. Or like well, yeah, and they're just kinda like sitting yeah. around like, <laughs> like fuck. it it just seems so up and down for like a lot of the homies, but you know. It, I'm sure you'd be that's, for sure. That's but. exactly like how it is. And I kinda like what the agency has like told me is it's pretty like slow at first especially since i'm just like a new face mm-hmm. never really like modeled before so like we're working on like building my portfolio so i can like show like, some find, more work yeah, yeah yeah like show some more work so a lot of like the last six months i've just been doing different shoots with people and kind of like building up portfolio like i just shot with like sean moore the other day like bmx photographer yeah mm-hmm. and, like super excited to see how those photos turn out like he's a sick dude oh and, yeah and, like good photographer so you're trying to lean into that a little bit more i am yeah i i kind of just like dabbling in like a little bit in like mm-hmm. all different areas bmx is definitely I, my main thing but i feel you i feel you on that as well like i just, I, can, I can't like it's fuck hard. boxes like mm-hmm. two years ago i think i was like all right i'm a snowboard less like have to and like i've been snowboarding less and i'm so proud of myself for like not <laughs> snowboarding because like yeah dude I, i'm just like i spread myself so thin across all the shit and it's hard but like dude i just love all this shit like it's it's so much fun it's almost like taking little breaks from one thing kind of mm-hmm. helps you when you come back to it later it's on the like into the they, yang like yeah this. like they they all build up mm-hmm. off of each other because i i took a year off of snowboarding and i almost feel like this year that i came back to snowboarding i'm better at snowboarding than i was yeah you're yeah. enjoying it more i think like just, uh-huh. you're, I think are you enjoying it more since like you kind of like stopped doing it for a minute yeah yeah, yeah it's like it's more fun it's more refreshing yeah. like lately I've kind of taken a little hiatus from like riding my bike just yeah like we Jerice and I like went out and pedaled today for a little bit and it was sick and like kind of like felt like that fire like picking back up yeah but for like last three months I was really just kind of zoned in on snowboarding and getting like the modeling stuff all set up yeah just taking care of life shit no that's good yeah. other hobbies is good so for sure. Are yeah, you like bear? Fucking bear is insane. <laughs> I have never experienced that type of atmosphere. So like, Dude, here, I'm like, it's so it's so best. sick. Yeah. Like just the SoCal atmosphere of it, but like also all the Jerry's there is mm-hmm. fucking wild. Yeah, it's just like, like you hit a putting rail. a mountain in the middle of you know SoCal. So it's yeah, like everyone just wearing a t-shirt or girls wearing sports bras and like it's insane but yeah it's cool because like and it's just jibs top to bottom and the hills like yeah. this big so it's like uh, it's yeah i love that shit For shitty sure. snow the best honestly that's everybody like always talks about like snow conditions like i don't care about snow conditions what do the no. fucking rails look like like yeah. what does the park look like yeah the park like, is the best top slushy. to bottom you're tired as shit by the time you get to the bottom mm-hmm. and then you go to av you do go to av yet What's AV? It's the club up there. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, Wait, why are you telling me I miss the club? <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Oh, man. AV is hilarious, too. They got bottle. They got, like, tables, and, like, it's hilarious. <laughs> it is some shit. Damn. Yeah. Sweet. Next time. Yeah. yeah. I, you, you know I love clubs. Yeah. yeah that's what I mean. That's why I can't believe you sniff it out. Like, yeah. We'll get up there. I need to go. I've been neglecting it. I just kind of hit man at like the end of the season for like one camping trip and catch some spring laps. But yeah, I, I went to Mammoth um, a couple times. Mammoth is sick. Mm-hmm. Definitely like one of my favorite resorts I've been to. I also just like that the rails are pink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what and all the homies up. Shout out all the Mammoth homies because I met met a lot of homies up there. Sick. They're, like pretty rad. It's so small up there. It's so funny. Yeah. It's so tiny. I mean, I guess probably. Big, I mean, Big Bear is smaller, but um, when you were in Wyoming, did you grow up snowboarding as well? A lot of snowboarding, or I did. Yeah, that we we had like a little ski resort called Snowy Range, mm-hmm. and they didn't really like have a park set up. But I was I was always kind of like a little adrenaline junkie like growing mm-hmm. up. Like my parents always said like even when I was on a tricycle, I would like take like one hand off and just like ride with like oh fuck ride with like one hand or take like one leg. Mm-hmm. And even though they didn't have like a park, like I guess I was like always just digging with like these kids, Gus and Jerry. 
and they had like a little butter it was the most depressing little park it wasn't a park they just had like a butter box that was like stuck in the ground and like bent over and it was mm. all rusty and there was like nails sticking out and like you hop on it there's a 50 50 chance that you're gonna fucking die like <laughs> get stabbed by this box and like ah. mm. yeah that that was like the ski resort that i grew up with and so once i like kind of started getting better i gravitated more towards like riding street it's mm. so like all the rails that i would hit on my bike in cheyenne i would set them up when it would snow mm-hmm. and i would just Damn, like, that's figure fine. that out like by that's myself and so i i pretty much like learned how to ride rails behind my house because we had a hill and would set up like my bike rails and then build up the confidence go hit a handrail so everything was like pretty much without a ski resort Mm -hmm. um but yeah that that was like my second sport when i couldn't ride my bike because i just wanted to go do gnarly shit Mm -hmm. and couldn't ride my bike so i just like snowboard so did you uh, you you get into snowboarding first or biking biking um, I got into skating first. Oh, okay. Right. That's, I feel like that's the normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, before skating you can, like, was crawl a, on a skateboard. Dude. Yeah. Funny literally. thing, before <laughs> skating was a ripstick. I had a ripstick <laughs> before a skateboard, and I learned how to roll in on not even drop in. I learned how to roll in on a fucking Damn, ripstick. That's before. harder. I mean, I, when, I don't know what grade was I in. In PE, we would have like one day a month or one day a week where there was just ripsticks and in PE you just ripstick and there was like a bank <laughs> that's and tight. you know we just Dude, catch those it those shits are fun yeah, yeah, ripsticks are, rip sure. are the fucking shit like, yeah. love ripsticks so where do you think you got like your adrenaline junkie type side from like are, are your parents like super into like anything no nothing huh yeah um my my brother was like into it for a little bit but I'd really say like my next door neighbors and my dad so my, my parents aren't together so uh-huh. I like grew up in two separate households but um my dad's neighbors when i was like ever over there they had like a little flat rail Mm -hmm. and they would always just be in the street like skating it and stuff and i just like always like thought it was cool and uh so then i would like start doing like little tricks on my tricycle Mm -hmm. and then like eventually i think i like picked up a skateboard and started like going to the skate park there there really wasn't much of like a scene at the skate park so it was was all pretty (laughs) self-driven what are you doing (laughs) <laughs> playing with your dinner. dog bowl <laughs> um, yeah I'd, I'd say like a, a lot of it was like self motivated through like YouTube videos Sick. just like learning how to do shit I watched a lot of like AJ and Naya how to's oh how to God, ride a dude. bike <laughs> like, yeah I remember those yeah. that's yeah. funny yeah which is which I, I don't even think at that time I knew he lived in Denver yeah I was gonna say he's <laughs> from Denver as well yeah. yeah that's where he did those videos yeah. in Denver yeah that's funny the yeah, algorithm, I, I remember, yeah. I remember watching those when I was, like, little. Huh. Like, probably, like, 12, The 15. Annihilator. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, AJ Annihilator. Shout out AJ. Is he <laughs> still up there somewhere? No, he... I think he lives in Estonia. Oh, yeah. He, he did like get, like, married, a mail-order, yeah, like, yeah. Russian wife or something, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. sick. The dual citizenship. Yeah. He was a legend. Uh, well, on the topic of AJ, we... Because there, there was, like, a company, like, Reclamation Bikes, uh-huh. that, like, Fred Gates owned... And I was, that was, like, my first sponsor, like, girl bike sponsor when I was, like, mm-hmm. 16. He, like, gave me frames and bought all my parts from, like, Pusher and shit. Damn, so, that's tight. So, yeah. was he was, was he a bike company? Is that yeah, what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. Okay, cool. It, it was mostly, like, a flatland company. Huh. What was um, it called? Reclamation Bikes. That's sick, though. Yeah. Frames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, like, AJ was on it, and then there was, like, another dude, Trey Herrera was on there like oscar like they're all they're all like really sick denver scene yeah people yeah that, that, that was like definitely the roots and then well while we're on the topic of like denver scene or like danny camacho definitely kind I've of like i've heard of him never met him though he he's on sabrosa no it's yeah like, okay he, yeah yeah, he's yeah. Both for sabrosa Tight. so it's kind of crazy like how things like go yeah go full weird. circle and stuff yeah yeah. Who's the was, homie out there? Like, kind of like maybe like Mexican. He's got like long, like oh, wavy hair. Uh, I seen him at Denver Park and he's ripping the bowl of cig in his mouth, just like. <laughs> oh, Dev, Master Chef Dev. Yeah, yeah he has curly hair, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was at Swampfest last year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does the He's shit. a ripper. Yeah. Dev's, Dev's the he's shit. been coming up too. Yeah, I think he just like. Who's he getting hooked up by? Odyssey. We see Odyssey. Yeah, Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll see him Odyssey. like because I yeah just see him back in Denver and now I see him around like yeah because he was just ripping with the cig in his mouth. Yeah. Don't forget that shit, you know. Yeah. That's cool. 
Um, so future stuff, like obviously you want to do like get more into like the modeling thing, maybe New York. Like, are you gonna do more stuff with this video you were talking about? Maybe like sit on it and keep stacking and. Yeah, it's pretty much done. I'm just trying to do like the finalizing, like editing and stuff. Um, also figuring out like who wants it, like mm -hmm. where is it gonna go. Mm -hmm. I know like Sabrosa talked about like wanting it, and like it might be like a couple. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just like I'm yeah. gonna let them like handle it. Might mm -hmm. just give it to fucking Dig and be like, here you go. Like, yeah. Like, run it. Yeah, run give it. Give it to the modeling agency. So <laughs> yeah, give it to the modeling okay. agency. He's yeah. biking. What's your guys' rate? <laughs> <laughs> just imagine a BMX video with like a model manager. <laughs> hmm. I I'm trying to keep those two worlds like a little separate. Yeah, that could be a good same. idea. Yeah, I agree. Cause yeah, it it could be a move. Yeah. Right on. Well, shit, that's pretty much all I got. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wanted to just come chop it up. You know, like I feel like, you know, obviously you're a different kind of person, but like just the homie and like it, I just know people want to ask things and they're timid or they don't want to or they're you know people are curious and I don't know I just wanted to shoot yeah. the shit you know yeah no it's like it's, it's always a good time talking to you and like hanging yeah. with you right on for sure well thanks for coming on yeah 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 thank you any pod <laughs> yeah right on that was good hit it give me a clap yeah <laughs>